Hello guys and welcome to another episode. Uh, this is my Mark uh, Unimex uh, Mark uh, 9 Unimex uh, Pong machine. I like it very much. Very simple, just a power input. Um, a machine that I got from a flea market last year and I managed to fix it. There have been some uh, contacts inside cut. Um, it can work with batteries. This is the battery compartment, but the cover is missing, and I can see um, that it needs 9 volts. So, again, we're going to be using the standard Atari style power supply uh, to feed the power. Um, I haven't tried it with batteries, and I'm not going to try it at all. Um, the, the purpose of this video today and after a year uh, is my crazy idea I can get some picture, uh, some signal out of it. You can see even the the screws are not the same. So it was in it, it was in a bad condition last year. But anyways, the idea is to um, get somehow a picture to get the signal out of it, so we can make it work with uh, modern TVs, LCD TVs, TV, TFT LED type of TVs or whatever can support um, uh, video input the uh, so-called composite like um, kind of signal and in order to do that uh, we're gonna be using the <coughs> classic Atari excuse me <coughs> um, power supply the mono jack the classic one it has been always the same um, power supply uh, the voltage the uh, power jack uh, the power input um, jack everything was the same back then it was kind of universal and then here we have several switches you can turn it on off and pause the game and do stuff so let's power it up and see what happens I remember last time I checked it was fine but uh, via the um, the TV modulator that is um, built in and um, it worked fine with um, you know the signal you can the best signal you can possibly have over um, modern TVs which is something like this I guess let's see start and select the game the good thing about these machines is that they are very reliable over time so here we go we have a signal over the tuner and I guess it's already fine actually fine just a bit of some ghost effect on the side let's see if we can we can have it over um, another output and make it better um, yeah those machines are very r reliable over time and this particular one was is from the old uh, design of the pong games back in the 70s that means that the console doesn't have a processor right the processor um, has always been inside the cartridge so it's um, a machine with um, some circuitry uh, that is actually actually what it is um, helps the cartridge to give us the the games so it's uh, where, where the um, the CPU the um, a processor uh, which holds the game it is right there inside the cartridge and then you can only have the controls whatever you need you need to jump to a game number two number three and all the controls and the buttons are only uh, what is in the console and um, um, yeah that's why it is very reliable because the circuit is very very simple um, you don't have to care much about static you don't have to care much about uh, anything and another good thing so here is the uh, uh, RCA waiting for some signal if we can make it another in important thing is that these machines over time have shown that uh, they need no recap whatsoever of course uh, recapping is a good practice right uh, to um, bulletproof your uh, equipment over time uh, but those were the days uh, when they didn't use 
uh, here is the TV out the signal comes from this area um, back then uh, they didn't use um, many electrolytic capacitors they didn't have to it was all about plastic capacitors and ceramic for the most part so that's why these machines are very reliable over time so back to our circuit um, I have prepared the as you have seen uh, the AV3 input to make sure that it can accept any signal and I'll be start looking with the tip of my uh, um, video um, cable the RCA uh, around this area uh, close to where the TV modulator is because the signal is somewhere there and it has to be a weak signal at some point and there's must be some transistor underneath this area uh, where the TV cable uh, comes from and um, there must be also a strong signal coming from um, transistor uh, which actually does all the um, the boosting um, and gives us the, uh, the signal um, ready to be sent out by the modulator. It won't take you uh, long to find the right contact I was uh, as I was playing around I came up with this contact right there the, where the tip of my RCA um, jack is and I came up with this which is what exactly I was looking for right so this is um, an enhanced um, signal by some transistor underneath so we can get our source from there and we can um, at the same time use the um, shield uh, of the cable um, that gives us the TV signal it's the same thing um, and this one is a weak uh, point you can see the difference a weak signal before uh, it can uh, pass the transistor and gives us the right one like this one okay so we know where we can get our signal from uh, we know we can get the one connection is this and the other connection is the ground or the shield so we can get it from this area all around the um, uh, PCB or up there where the um, shield of the TV cable comes from which is pretty much the same thing and I'm gonna be drilling some hole right there I guess we can have a female RCA jack um, to um, um, give us the signal ready um, right on the case so we can have our composite like signal um, and output um, ready so I'm gonna be using this I guess female kind of uh, RCA jack now I can see this is a narrow space maybe I can put it right here it won't be bothered by any other cables or plastic uh, parts of the case so I'd better uh, put it on the other side right there or I'm gonna be using this one the plastic part remains inside but no I think I'm gonna go with for this one this little golden one and then of course we have the right cable uh, one uh, core in the middle and the shield um, on the outside um, that's all you need signal white cable in the middle uh, the right length we can put it there and steal actually the signal from the circuit and pass it over to the RCA jack I skipped some drilling of course um, I have already put in place the RCA the cable uh, is uh, soldered and um, down here you can see the contact point where the signal comes in and the shield uh, together with the shield where the TV um, cable uh, was coming from I guess nobody is going to be using this one anymore I have to hide it uh, back in the battery compartment as it was before because now we have a crystal clear crispy nice picture uh, over our AV3 uh, input right um, on this television the modern uh, television which can accept AV signals and we actually s have stolen 
that's what we did the signal from the modulator or before it gets the, even gets there and we um, managed to get uh, to get it in such a way that we can play um, Pong games um, over uh, new modern TVs um, following um, this little uh, trick now one interesting thing now we are on the antenna right and I have both cables plugged in this is the RF signal as you can see and it's uh, weak right it has altered uh, colors and everything and it gets weak now if we move to uh, AV3 you can see our uh, clear picture as it comes from the RCA jack and it's only natural because what we're doing now we're sharing the signal between two connections right so the TV modulator um, is a bigger circuit and a very old circuit and uh, it gets weak so we have to select either um, the old way or the uh, RCA um, mod we have just prepared today um, I believe uh, what you're going to do guys and what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to play over the RCA the composite this one um, connection only so I don't care if the actually the um, signal that comes from the TV tuner uh, gets weak or I'm not going to be using it anymore and apparently it looks good very discreet uh, job um, one single um, output to get uh, this composite like signal from an old punk machine not bad for a day um, one thing you have to remember is that if you guys are collecting you do have or you simply like pong consoles uh, from the 70s uh, and you can do the same trick on almost um, uh, on every console from that era um, this is how it looks I think it was uh, quite a successful mod for today uh, you can go around your circuit uh, no matter what is the uh, brand name or <coughs> the type uh, because everything uh, was pretty much alike back then and you can uh, look for signals that you can uh, get um, some kind of composite like signal for modern TVs like we did today um, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I guess uh, we can call it a wrap for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll be catching you soon with another video. Um, so, thanks again. Bye.